Hi everyone, welcome to the second of my solo sessions and today I feel very honoured because a dear friend of mine, Chris Walden, has written a piece called Ahead of the Curve and Chris and I have worked together for quite a few years now. He's arranged and conducted two of my albums, Dusk and Dawn and A Summer Place, um, so we've really gotten to know each other musically and I think this is just the most beautiful piece. I know you're going to love it, um, but for the moment, here's Chris. Hi Chris, how are you? Hi Amy. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. So you're in LA at the moment? I'm in Los Angeles, that's right, and um, sitting here and writing music. Yeah, oh, great. And you don't usually work from home, do you? I usually don't work from home. I have a writing room at Capitol Studios. Yeah. Um, and um, since I currently cannot get to this room, I, for this time I'm working from home. So you've been able to keep working. And yes. How, how has all of this um, affected you, <laughs> the way you work? Um, obviously, I lost a, a lot of work that has to do with the writing for a summer concerts because I usually, this is at the time I usually write arrangements for the Hollywood Bowl season and for the Boston Pop season and those have all been cancelled. So, or we shall say postponed because those are concerts that will happen eventually, but not now, so. Yeah. I have a lot of free time writing music for myself or for you. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> and then just before this all happened, you were writing music for the Oscars. And you wrote a new yes, that thing. was that was the last project, big project I worked on before this whole, whole thing break, broke out. Was I was the lead arranger at the Oscars this year again and wrote all the music for it. Wow, that's so exciting. And you wrote me a concerto as well. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. And yeah, we will premiere that one day when all of, all of this is over. <laughs> yes. um, yeah, and, and so um, you've also very kindly written me the most gorgeous um, little piece of music um, for solo saxophone. And um, it's, it, it is just completely you. It is so expressive and I, I'm, I can... Thank you hear you in every single note. It's a real joy to play. So thank you very much. Thank you. Um, you've called okay. it ahead of the curve. What, is, what does that mean? Tell me about it. Well, this is a little bit of a tongue in cheek um, take on everybody's talking about flatten the curve at the moment. <laughs> and I was thinking, well, um, what would be even better than flattening the curve would be staying ahead of the curve. And staying ahead of the curve we can do at least in our life with music yes yeah i'm good on you <laughs> and, yeah. and so I'm writing it yeah writing a solo piece is one would think it's just one instrument should be easy but actually i did find writing a solo piece for for a monophonic instrument without accompaniment is actually one of the hardest things to do really yes wow. to to write a piece that it's not accompanied, but it still has to capture the listener's attention. Yeah. I mean, in the case of the piece that I wrote for you, it's not that long, but but still, it's it's a challenge, and I gladly took it on. Yeah. Oh well, I I can't tell at all because it it is so effective and, as I said, really really expressive. And um, I mean, I know what you mean because one of the things I love most about your music is the uh, harmonies and you know you're just completely famous for that <laughs> so um, yeah. get, getting rid of all of that I, I imagine would be a challenge <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, it, but gosh it's a lovely piece so thank you very thank much you. so yeah well okay. I hope to see you again soon <laughs> all right thank you Amy okay bye take care Thank you. 
Thank you. 